Now this is our first uh, video of a new series uh, which will be called uh, Pearls, uh, Tips and Pitfalls in Breast uh, Diagnosis and Surgery uh, where we will present uh, some uh, pearls which might be helpful for the new colleagues or some uh, pitfalls, some mistakes we have made. Hopefully that uh, these mistakes will not be done by other, uh, by other colleagues. So uh, here is our first uh, case. This is a 44 year old uh, lady which was uh, diagnosed with these uh, micro calcifications in the left uh, upper quadrant near the nipple which uh, calcifications were uh, categorized as the BRADS uh, 4, uh, 4B This is the left uh, mediolateral view and uh, this is the left uh, CC view Okay, here they are uh, during the ultrasound, the radiologist uh, felt uh, comfortable that uh, he could uh, recognize uh, the calcifications with the ultrasound. We have placed uh, a marker here on the skin, which it seemed to correspond very nicely with the calcifications. So we decided to insert the J wire uh, with uh, ultrasound guidance and not with uh, not with mammography. Let's see what happened. Okay, this is the left uh, MLO view after the insertion of the J wire. Uh, of course, you see two J wires, and I will explain you what happened. This is the first. J wire we inserted to the place where we thought that the calcifications were and uh, uh, where the radiologist uh, thought he was seeing the calcifications. However, it's quite obvious that the J wire tip is in a completely uh, other place from where the calcifications are. This is the MLO view of the first wire, number one. And this is the uh, left uh, CC view of the first wire, where it's obviously that it's completely out of, uh, of position. Of course, this was something that uh, we didn't like very much. We tried to see what we could do about that. And we noticed that uh, the calcifications this time were exactly under the, uh, the point where the wire was inserted into the skin. So having a guidance for the second time, the insertion point on the skin of the J wire, we were able this time to locate the calcifications and we inserted a second wire which the second time seemed to be in a much much better position than the first wire. This is J wire number two which is in the MLO position view. This is its position and this is its position in the CC view which shows that the J wire is in a, in a very good uh, position relatively to the, first, uh, to the first wire. We knew that uh, our calcifications, our target, were a little bit higher and a little bit inner to the tip of, uh, of the wire. Let's see the specimen mammography. 
This is my first view of a specimen mammography. You will notice that I use some uh, radio pack numbers which I put on the margins of my specimen during the excision and which are extremely helpful to know where I am and uh, to be able to interpret my specimen mammography. I will walk you through the numbers. You must remember that my, my excision was on the left upper outer quadrant of the left breast. So, this is the margin to the nipple, this is the margin to the axilla, this is the margin to the skin, and this is the margin to the thoracic muscle. Number four is towards the outer, the outer margin and number three is the inner margin towards the sternum. From what we can see is in this view the microcalcifications are completely in the middle of my specimen and it seems that I do have healthy distances between those calcifications and my margins in this view. Usually what I do is I take another specimen mammography which I take with a 90 degrees rotation of the, of the specimen. So I can also check my other margin, the margins number three and number, uh, number four. Okay, so this is my specimen with the margins turned and you see number one, it's on with number three and number four is on with number number five. This is my nipple. This is my uh, axilla. So what I see here now in this view is that my calcifications are close to the margin number three. And it is number three and not number one because number one is my margin to the skin which I have checked with the previous mammogram that I am uh, quite safe. So this distance from margin three is what I would consider close and I decided to do an additional excision towards this margin which is the margin towards the, the sternum. This is the specimen mammography of my additional excision. Of course, this is marked again uh, and it's completely free of any microcalcification or any other uh, lesion, suspicious, uh, etc. So I was quite happy and uh, the operation uh, was uh, ended. Final histology showed that the Additional uh, excision was not actually needed. I already had uh, uh, clear uh, margins uh, from the first uh, excision. However, this is something you learn after the final uh, histology. So, what uh, we have learned from this uh, from this case, we have learned that uh, when you do have microcalcifications and uh, you don't uh, have uh, any other uh, uh, ultrasound uh, uh, finding which uh, will uh, lead you to the lesion you must use the mammogram to insert the J wire no matter how confident is the radiologist about uh, the position of the calcifications on the other hand you must improvise and uh, you must look, in case if you are in a difficult position, you must uh, look how you can actually get out of uh, this, uh, this position as we, we think we did in, uh, in, this, uh, in this case.